Hello guys, how we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Luke here. Season is over. It's done for another year. Um, West Ham lost 3-1 to Manchester City. This in a game that we had no chance really from as soon as the starting lineup come out. When you see Socek and Ward Prowse in the centre of midfield, Pep Guardiola must have been rubbing his hands together. Absolutely rubbing his hands together. And it didn't take long, did it? I could be one of my favourite players in the Premier League, Phil Foden. Just picked the ball up and smashed in an absolute worldie. After what, two minutes was it? After that, you could tell City that calmed them down, the fans as well. Um, and we just we were chasing shadows. We didn't really do anything in the game. A few minutes later, it's 2 0, you know, a little bit later. Um, and they was in cruise control, they really were. We did manage to get up the pitch um, and win a corner. Fantastic goal! Look, actually, you know what? That's an under that's underappreciated. Actually, that word. It's not a fantastic goal. It's an incredible goal. If Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, Messi, whatever, had scored that goal, it would have been everywhere. Um, the way Caduceus does that touch and is able to contort his body into position and create that much power to score that absolute worldy. Definitely our goal of the season. He's probably got about five goals of the season just by himself, to be honest with you. Obviously, he scored uh, a very similar goal like that against Brentford a little bit further out. He scored the one, obviously, where he's run from his own half. Again, incredible goal. The man's a genius, a genius. And I really hope, you know, people were joking yesterday that um, Pep might not be looking at Pakatar anymore, but... Just as we get a relief over that, it might be looking at Caduce. So let's hope not. Let's hope not. Um, that did um, make City a little bit nervous for a while. It did. They were a little bit nervous. Um, and then Rodri, you know, what can you say about Rodri? Incredible player, man for you know, man for the big moments. Scores the big times. He got the winner, three-one. Uh, and it was just non-existent. To be fair, I wasn't really paying attention to the game then. You know, it was a nothing game for us anyway. We couldn't go any higher. We couldn't get any lower. The only thing a West Ham win or draw would have done is give it to Mr. Hashtag 41. It would have given the title. Um, so, as I said in the podcast in the morning, I wasn't bothered what way the result went because it didn't mean nothing we couldn't get Conference League we couldn't get Europa League we weren't going to get relegated um, and the last thing I wanted was to come into work today and see the Arsenal boys giving it all the mouth and just they, the humbleness is beautiful their tears are beautiful they will come out with their lines to all us West Ham boys and all the probably other London clubs that didn't want them to win it you will get all this from them today. All it will be from them today is your small club mentality. We have a club on the up. Next year, FC. Good. I'm so glad they lost. I hate them. I hate Declan Rice. I hate the how he left West Ham. I know he had to leave, but he could have gone to City and he would have been probably winning the double, you know, because they'll probably win the FA Cup next week as well. I don't want Declan Rice to ever win anything. Um, and it's beautiful. Is it jealousy? Yeah, you can throw that at me, Arsenal fans. You still ain't won nothing. Um, yeah. But let's look back to West Ham. Back to West Ham. It's not an Arsenal channel. Uh, God forbid supporting them. Um, season on the whole, I don't know how we managed to finish ninth. Our form, the second half of the season, is atrocious. Um, we're very lucky we got the wins we got early doors. With great performances from Ariolas and worldy performances and goals from your Pacatars, Bowens, and Caduces. But listen, any other season we could have been right down there, right, right down there. Um, and you know, also because of how bad it was, a couple of wins the other way, we could have been sitting in, you know, seventh or sixth and have European football again. Um, I'm glad it's over. I'm so, so glad it's over. It's been a real, real struggle to watch West Ham probably for about the last 18 months in the league. In the league. You know, the European thing was 
a break from it, you know, because we was winning and we got the cup and stuff. But in terms of the league, maybe even two years, might even be two years, I'm 18 months might be an understatement, but it's been atrocious. The football, um, the way he isolates players, you know, how he's done it with Alvarez in the last couple of weeks is like a little statement. It's over. Thank God it's over. Uh, we won't have to talk about David Moyes again apart from in nostalgia videos or when we're talking about seasons that passed. We won't have to talk about his lineups. It's now the Lopetegui era. It's not been officially announced. It's not been officially announced yet. But it all, you know, 98.9.9% sure that it will be him. Um, then players need to go have a rest. We need to get a business done quickly. You know, I want... I need a striker in there. We need a midfielder who's got a real presence. You know, you get Alvarez. If... I don't think Pacatar stays, but if he did stay, if you had Alvarez, Pacatar, plus another... A left winger to give us balance. Um, and obviously, he's going to be looking at centre-backs because they're so weak. Yeah, big, big summer ahead. And West Ham... Listen... It's, it's a completely new chapter now. Um, there'll be a slightly different style of play, uh, different ideas, different way of coaching. Um, and it's exciting. It's exciting. You know, we've got to be optimistic. We've got to be optimistic. Uh, the David Moyes era is over. Let's say ninth finish, cup. Um, yeah, it's done. It's done. That's it. For guys for the season but listen we're not going away we're not going anywhere we're not having a rest there's going to be so much news coming thick and fast over the next few weeks when he obviously when Lopetegui gets officially announced first players coming in or players going out we'll be doing videos for it me and Paul will be talking about the Euros as well following our teams through yeah guys until next time come on you eyes and uh, sorry Arsenal but that was beautiful let's go